Hi, this is Sunil from Ensam America MDM team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Microsoft Active Directory template in MDM. As we know very well that Informatica MDM Hub supports the use of external authentication for users through the Java authentication and authorization service. Informatica MDM Hub provides templates uh, like uh, LDAP, uh, Microsoft Active Directory, and then network uh, authentication uh, uh, using the Kerberos protocol. So these are the three templates available in Informatica MDM Hub. So uh, these templates uh, provides the settings like protocols, server names, ports and so on that are required for these authentication standards. So here is the agenda for this video. Uh, initially we need to create a user in LDAP server that is Microsoft Active Directory. Uh, then we need to create the same user in MDM Hub. Then uh, create the template for Microsoft Active Directory in MDM Hub. Uh, in, finally, we have to test the login with the same user into Informatica MDM Hub whether it success or not. Let's see how to configure the Microsoft Active, Active Directory in MDM. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, initially we need to create the user in LDAP server that is Microsoft Active Directory. So I already created user called Sunil Kumar in that uh, directory. Then create the same user in hub using this configuration workbench uh, using this tab users. So I'm going to create the user here. The username should be same as the user created in LDAP server. So I'm taking the username as Sunil Kumar. So I'm defaulting the database as CMX ORS. Now here, see here, if it is hub user, Informatica, Informatica MDM hub user, you need to provide password here. Since we need to uh, use the user created in uh, LDAP server, so we are going for external authentication. So simply select the user, use external authentication option here, then click on. So now you created the user called Sunil Kumar, which is already available in, in our Microsoft Active Directory server. Then we need to go for Security Providers tab. So here, under Security Providers tab, you should be able to see. See, uh, there is one tab called Providers. See here, yeah, Providers. So we have to go for Authentication Providers and you have to add a new login module see we have three as we as i mentioned earlier we have uh, three templates here open LDAP template then microsoft active directory template then kerberos template so in this uh, we are going to uh, work with microsoft active directory template then select that option and click on ok here by default you will get these options here Java naming factory initial. This is the default uh, uh, parameter property you will get the, uh, while creating this uh, Microsoft Active Directory template. Then, so here we need to see uh, here it, there are two mandatory things you have to uh, know here regarding your LDAP server. That is one server name. Then you have to go for what is the your domain name. So you have to confirm that from your LDAP admin that what is the server name and what is the domain name so let's say I have I have a server called server1 and the port so here the port my port port number is 389 so again that depends on your server so you have to give the correct port, port over here to make sure that you are working with the current correct uh, server then we need to add two more parameters here depends on your requirement so one parameter is that is UID attribute ID yeah. 
they should be capital so for this uh, property we have to provide a value as sam account name So this is one property here. UID attribute ID is a name, property name, and the SAM account name is the value. So see up here uh, we can add one more attribute. Uh, uh, depends on your requirement that whether you have to use the postfix or prefix. Let's assume that in my uh, scenario I just wanted to use the prefix. So in that case you need to add one more property called username dot prefix so let's assume that so here you need to give the domain name uh, for example in my case dot As we know that uh, what is prefix and postfix right so prefix means like the domain name slash the username if it is postfix then username at the rate of your domain name dot com so here my domain name is pats that's why I'm giving pats slash it means that I'm using the prefix here then click on OK so this is your configuration for your Microsoft Active Directory template. So here you need to take care about your server name. I'm sorry here. Just wanted to make sure that we are providing the correct server name and then port and then you need to add one attribute called UID attribute ID. This is the uh, it makes use of your you know SAM account so then you need to uh, add one more parameter called username dot prefix or postfix depends on your requirement if if you want go for the postfix then you have to add one more attribute here uh, username dot postfix in that case at the rate of pads will come okay so this way you can configure it so after configuring it you have to restart your application server then you can check by logging with the same user uh, whether our configuration is correct or not so once you restart the application server you can test your login see here initially uh, I logged in with admin user but now I just wanted to try with Sunil Kumar uh, the external user so here re login as and the provide the corresponding password here then click on then click on ok now see here we are able to log into hub console with Sunil Kumar user so this is the way uh, you can uh, create your uh, configure your external authentication so then uh, we're going for uh, you can you can you can uh, refer uh, uh, the admin guide for adding a login module section to know about uh, more about uh, the remaining templates thanks for watching this video uh, you can you can reach us on uh, support videos at rateofinformatica.com for any queries and also you can follow us on twitter twitter.com info support thanks thanks for this watching watching this video have a nice day